Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, I just thought I'd make a quick video today. Nothing actually polishing, cleaning, applying, um, nothing like that. So I just want to talk real quick about maybe uh, winter preparation for people that live in places other than California. Here, in this state, you can just carry on business as usual. We have like one or two months that are kind of dewy or moist or foggy and wet and damp, but nothing crazy. I mean, here we are in October. I think it's like 90 degrees today, 85, 90 already. I mean, still, not already, but still. So California, we have great weather. Florida, probably too, but other parts of the country where it gets wet. That's what I'm talking about. Go over a few products over here. I can recommend all these products. These are products I've used and tried. Some I really like. Some I don't know if I'll use again, whatever, but, um, and some I haven't used, honestly, in quite a while. Just because I don't detail like I used to, now I just do my videos. I used to try to detail a car every weekend, which was fun and good, but the older I get, fatter I get, kicks my butt, kind of. But I still enjoy it. I really do. But anyway, here, let's look at some of these products and talk about them for just a second. Sorry about the bad camera angle there. Got you on my tripod. So... Probably the single most important thing that you can kind of, I don't know, say protect or help yourself uh, keep clear vision, especially with glass, and rain, fog, bird dropping, snow, sleet, whatever. Now, I don't know what these products will do with snow and sleet because I don't experience that in California. But bare minimum, going into winter, you should be using a glass sealant. There are many companies that have this, but uh, I prefer the Atoms. I'm a big fan of Atoms. If you don't, if you live somewhere it's really wet and nasty, don't rely on this. Now on your side glass, maybe once a month. Um, this is only good for like 300 miles, I think. The new and improved formula, maybe 500 miles with uh, wet conditions and your wipers running. So it's not really that durable. Around here where I live, it's fine. This product is a coating. That's Atoms Ceramic Glass Coating. This is an amazing product and it will last for I think a year or two. So this is a really good product. You should think about this if you live in a wet area or the graphene spray coating. Now they say this is good on glass. I haven't tried it, but I will. Um, so any of these, you should. this is probably the most important part of winter protection on your vehicle, glass protection. You want your glass clean and easy to clean. You don't want things sticking to the glass, right? So probably the single most important thing you can do. Paint protection, anything sealant, or coating. So this is a coating you can use on paint and glass. So this could go over here in this area too, but at a bare minimum, you should be waxing your car. This Q7 wax by CSI. Uh, I tried it a couple weeks ago. I love it. It leaves the finish slick. It's a great product. This is something uh, people like Arizona, maybe California, Florida could use and get away with. If you're in Washington, Montana, Utah, places where they get a lot of wetness, a lot of snow, a lot of foul weather, this probably won't do you very good, but it is better than nothing. You're going to want to bump up to a sealant. This is an SiO2 infused paste wax, which is great. Uh, I've used it before. It's a great product. This is a retail Meguiar's product. Also very good. Easy to use. Beads great. You have Griot's finishing sealant. It's another great sealant. And this one, if you use a, a heavy cutting pad and you apply it with slow hand speed and a heavy cutting pad, this will remove minor, minor swirls. So keep that in mind too. You could do a kind of a one-step correction and apply some, some sealant protection. Uh, and then you have the Jess Car Power Lock Plus. This at one time was my favorite product. Every car I detailed, I use this. This stuff is amazing, comes off easy, leaves the paint slick, super glossy. So pick any one of these products. If you live in a wet climate, I would stick here here, here, or here. Anywhere it's decent climate, not too foul. This one works great and it's easy on and easy off. And great customer service. Moving on to tire protection. So tire protection, not necessary in the winter, but if you want something that's durable, hyper dressing, pretty durable. But this one's a king. This is a tire coating by Optimum Polymer Technologies. This stuff will last three to six months. So if you want to do it one time and move on, this would be the way to go. If you're going to apply it weekly, can you use CSI new tire lotion. This is more of a matte or a satin look, not high gloss. I love this product for that reason. This one is a high gloss product, hyper dressing, now available retail, AutoZone or O'Reilly's. 
And then this one you have to order online, but it is a coating. This product here, let me pan around real quick. This product's on my wife's car. Those tires don't look amazing, but I don't know if you can see that real well. Anyway, those tires haven't been hit in probably a month. And that was the second light coating. So those tires have only been coated twice this year. And I do not apply more than that. So twice a year, look at them. I mean, not bling and glossy, but all you got to do is wash your car every week and move on. Yeah, you can't really tell, can you? Anyway, my tripod's hitting stuff. I try to get other angles. Anyway, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> and then for undercarriage, engine bay, um, uh, fender wells, you could use a product like Trim Shine by Stoner, or you can use an oil based uh, tire dressing, or you could even use things like fluid film. Fluid film is a product that's actually for corrosion and moisture, and it was actually used originally, I believe, if I read that story right by the United States Navy um, for their ships and things. Anyway, so winter protection, guys. Get something on your glass. The most important part right here, glass. You want good visibility. Protect your paint. Put something on your tires. Definitely do your undercarriage, um, your fender wells, and your engine bay. And as a side note, <clears throat> side note, if you have the carpeted or fabric uh, fender wells, you could probably clean those, let them dry out, and put Scotch Guard on them. They're carpet. Probably works. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Just some quick tips. I'll do a video next week again and uh, see where it takes me. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support.